Hello, everyone. My name is Rue. I use they or he pronouns, and I'll be your MC this afternoon. I'm going to let all of my players introduce themselves and their supers, and then we'll get started. Um, I'm going to pop it down to Jazz first. What's up? My name's Jazz, also known as Demi on Twitter. I use she, they pronouns, and I will be playing Katie Waller, aka Starburst, the bull. Uh, next up, Mitch. Oh, hey, uh, I am uh, Mitch. You can find me at Mitch S. Bustillos uh, on the Twitters. Uh, today I am playing Pepper, uh, and they are, oh man, I just had it. Um, oh, the Outsider. There we go. Boom. I am the Outsider. My special power is I am from the future uh, where uh, universal health care uh, in egalitarian principles are a norm. Uh, and we are all taken care of. And now I have traveled to the past using my uh, funds that occur by not uh, feeding greedy people uh, to help people out. So yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing the work. Awesome. Uh, Austin, do you want to go next? Sure, Radical. Hey, I'm Austin. My pronouns are he, they, she. You can find me on Twitter at Sales Coast, and it's at Sailor SCT. Austin, tonight, today, it is not nighttime, <laughs> and any of the time zones any of us are from, this supposedly, one. but I will be playing Sloan, the, uh, the mask, <laughs> the fucking, I don't know, I was gonna <laughs> swear my bet, the beacon. <laughs> Bleep, there we go, we got it. Bleep. Uh, I will be playing Sloan, the beacon, Sloan's pronouns are they, she, um, Back to you, GM. <laughs> uh, next up, Jim. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Jim the Dim. Today is my birthday. I go by <gasps> Happy birthday! Oh my gosh! Happy birthday! For my Happy birthday, birthday, all I want is donations to this wonderful charity that we're playing for today. Because yes. reproductive rights are human rights. Yes. So let's let's be on that. Uh, and last but not least, Bran. If I say it's my birthday as well. Happy birthday! <laughs> Will we get double donations? Yes. Because if I say it, then yes. Yeah, if it's uh, hi, I'm Brandon. You can find me at Voice of Brand on Twitter. Today I am playing Sleepwalker. He is uh, the doomed. Uh, the longer he stays awake, the more powerful he can become, and pulling things out of the dream realm into this world. Oh. But it does take its toll because probably hasn't slept in about thirty six hours now. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Yes. Yeah. You. Uh, that oh, was me. creative. Gosh darn it. Uh, All right. Um, and uh, we are playing, as uh, Jess said, for the National Abortion Federation, whose mission is to unite, represent, serve, and support abortion providers in delivering patient-centered, evidence-based care. Uh, we are currently just past $1,000. We're at $1,015. Um, and we're shooting for a goal of 2000 So if you have the means, please do donate, because abortion rights are human rights. And you can give any of my players a plus one to their role if uh, you donate $10 or more. Um, so if you want them to succeed, uh, you can pay money to ensure that they do better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, supers. Uh, today is um, a pretty special day in Halcyon City. Uh, a lot of streets are closed downtown. Parking is a nightmare if you drive a car. Uh, and newscasters are trolling around the city. It's time for the Halcyon, Sitter, Halcyon City Summer Art Festival. Local artisans have set up booths to sell their wares. There's a city sponsored stage that showcases mostly local bands with a couple of like big name headliners, AKA pop bands from like 10 to 15 years ago who like the city council thinks are still relevant and they can afford to pay for. Uh, and also uh, the first appearance of the Halcyon City Summer Court. So uh, like the like Miss and Mr. Halcyon City and then the princesses and whatnot. Uh, the parade in which they will make their appearance begins at 2 p.m., but you're a little bit early. Um, all of you have sort of arrived partially to enjoy the festival and partially because you all have been not supering for a long time, but long enough to know that when there's this many people in a place, someone's probably gonna cause some trouble. Um, but you're a little bit early for the parade, so you've got about a half hour to explore the festival if there's anything you want to see. Oh. And then you can also describe yourselves for us. You're heading straight for the stage? Yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right. 
where them elephant ears at (laughs) (laughs) oh yeah um uh why don't you describe uh katie for us jeff okay katie is a enormous a super tall super strong looking dark-skinned black woman with long curls um black curls that fall to her shoulders she's got extravagant yellow makeup she wears all yellow she has a scarf she has um a leather jacket and ripped jeans and um chuck taylors uh and she just um she looks pretty much like your typical teenage badass um yeah thanks uh yeah heading to the stage um you uh you're sort of like getting there like just as they're finishing up a set because they don't want any bands playing during the parade um but you can catch the like tail end uh of like seven uh seven doors up a very very local three doors down cover band (laughs) (laughs) i don't know if Uh, i'm impressed <laughs> oh, um, oh, let me let me roll for you to let you know if you're impressed. All right. <laughs> let me roll for the band to see how they're doing. Uh, that's a nine. So like, uh, they're, they're not the, they're not the <laughs> worst cover band you've ever heard. <laughs> But uh, probably I'll a, not. I'll, I'll give a polite clap. Out of all of the three doors down cover bands you have heard, yeah, yeah. Heard by far. <laughs> uh, can I can I make a roll? Yeah, of course. Okay. And then I'll pop over to Austin getting some uh, elephant ears in a second. <laughs> so, so yeah, I um uh uh can uh kind of briefly go from where I came from to help solve a situation. Um, okay. So I would like to go back to the future real quick uh and uh retrieve um let, let's get uh what is that band h-e-r her and uh let's do uh who else we got well, let's do uh tk twigs as well no fka twigs all right so those two people uh i want to replace the uh, three zores down cover band with uh with those people so uh okay. I, would, I would like that yeah all right what yeah. what happened to them <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't where, worry about it do you are does this also send seven doors up into the future um you know what i think they deserve the future i'll be like you guys can be there for like a couple hours while you know we, we get really nothing will go wrong yeah just <laughs> enjoy the health care uh and and basic living <laughs> For the uh, next two hours, you have free health care. Yeah, so. You go to the dentist. That's exactly what you do. You don't do anything else. <laughs> exactly. Go quickly. <laughs> we. Yeah, so go ahead and roll that. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so I got a, a total of uh, seven. <gasps> okay, so uh, mixed success. Yeah. Uh, what is a mixed success on that? <laughs> no. Uh, so that that gives you hold two, um, okay. or that gives me hold two. So I can spend it one for one to uh, basically do some stuff, uh, which I think would uh, fall into this. Uh, it doesn't say though what the uh, the kind of, they have consequences for a miss, but not like the okay, past so not, success type not thing. A, all right, cool. So yeah, so, maybe sometimes... I, I accidentally get like. Lil Wayne or something. I'm like, oh, oh geez, that's, uh, uh, oh, no. yeah, think, that's uh, not what I wanted, but uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, you, you, you do manage to get some cooler, uh, music acts, just maybe not exactly who you went looking for. <laughs> this is Drake during, uh, what is it? The, what is that Canadian show he was on? You mean Degrassi, one of the greatest shows ever made? Yeah. Don't be so bad. We won't play this game. I will just talk about Degrassi. I will meet my mic again now. Degrassi's awesome, okay? We get Drake from then. Well, we found uh, Austin's new favorite uh, concert, and it's watching I know, Degrassi right? on the big screen. I'm just going to go like to the future and grab the, the next season of Degrassi. It's like, all right, just Bring do it. Sloan. It. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, Sloan, you wanted to go and get elephant ears, yeah? Yes, I will be going to acquire elephant ears. They ha- uh, There's like an entire like city block crossed like closed off for like food trucks and stuff so finding an elephant ear is no problem Um, they are like seven dollars because it's a street fair 
I will not be buying an elephant ear. I will, be take, I will be getting an elephant ear. Of course. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> do you want to roll? I would like to use my power. My oh. powers are camouflage, stealth, and swords. Yes. Uh, so I would like to use my camouflage and stealth. Yeah. Abilities. Um, it's very much like a uh, like a light refra refracting thing. Like most invisibility, it's how it would actually work. And this uh, like six one uh athletic build teenager with dark skin just is going to try and like uh yeah. and take like like you know the, the elephant ears are always on like the spinning thing the i just want to take thing. like a whole row of elephant ears absolutely yeah no those are your powers so uh i will like... roll there's a roll for plus powers yes it's plus freak i think i believe it is freak yeah well that should not work because I got a five, so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think like less of the problem of like, you would be totally capable of getting, of being able to steal them if there weren't like a bunch of people like right in front of them. And so it's really hard, like you're invisible, but you can't get through the wall mm -hmm. of people that are in front of the elephant ears. Um, but sort of like, as you're uh, doing it, like you sort of like realize it's not gonna happen. Um, and like fade back into visibility. Um, and you watch as like a mom buys them for the like four kids that like you can tell like one of them is hers and three of them she has volunteered to take to the art fair. Mm -hmm. um, and like one of the kids immediately is like, I don't want this and like runs away. Uh, and so one is just left on the counter and the like the clerk is like just holding it confusedly. I just take it out of their hands. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, and I walk away. <laughs> yeah, that, have a have a good day. <laughs> Just very confused as the other kids run off. Um, Mitch, I forgot to ask while you were uh, going to the future. Um, can you describe your character for us? Or did you do that during introductions? And I'm just stupid. <laughs> you might have done. Uh, no, I I think I like briefly like uh, as uh, Pepper kind of uh, pops his head into the future and is like, "Hey guys, yeah, I'm I'm back." and 20 something it's horrible here but doing my best uh pepper uh is a uh dark skinned man with like curly hair and the uh, sunglasses um and like this little earring from uh, uh this was a little skull on it that he enjoys but other than that he's just wearing like a sweater and pants he's super nice. chill maybe like some mismatch chucks that's what the hip people are wearing nowadays <laughs> yeah thrilled about the person from the future's idea of what the hip fashion for now is <laughs> yeah I, I dab every now and then look at this boom can't move my arm so that's that's unfortunate uh jim and bran what are your characters doing go for it jim uh so my character is jack he's just a fair but dark skinned person like a naturally tan and he's kind of just walking through the crowd, slowly going by, just wondering what's going on, where all these people are at, like judging the situation. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to make you roll for that. You can tell the people here are like super excited for everything that's happening. Most people at this time have sort of started uh, migrating away from like the art fair part towards the like uh, main street where the parade's going to be. Uh, and when I say most people, I mean most people who aren't the people who have been camping since last night to be in the front. Cause you yeah. know, there are people with their like lawn chairs who have been there since like 6 PM the prior day uh, to be right in front. So everyone else is sort of landing up behind them. Are, are we a super team or do we not know each other? Uh, you are a team for the purposes of this one shot. So oh, we heck yeah. Know each other. <laughs> Pineapples. Where are we? Gosh darn it. You guys can, you, you can have a name or you can not have a name. It's cool either way. Pepper in the squad. Oh, God. Um, and what about your character, Bran? What's up? Uh, I assume I'm probably stationed somewhere near Sloan over with the, uh, the food stalls. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, looking for whatever coffee stand or like pop-up barista 
Yeah, uh, there's like a couple that are making like those like blended coffee drinks and then a couple where you can get like actual pulled shots. Uh, we'd be going for the the power of the pull shots. We were here. I'm going to say so much for that. There's like the three or four cups already stacked in the hand. Oh, crap. A slight tremble, too. Oh, God. Uh, you can... Sleepwalker has just a shock of short, white, disheveled hair. Um, almost a sickly pale. <laughs> that skin. Like, uh, you don't look like you're doing well. Um, dark, dark rings under his eyes. Um, wearing robes, not uh, not quite elegant as you've seen, you know, the more uh, sorcerer type of uh, soup wearing. They look kind of loose and slack, but not comfortable at the same time. Like the material itself looks kind of itchy. Like it just does not look comfortable. I'm just looking at my wrists, there's several watches on the one arm and back and just sort of propped up against either the stand or a wall, just kind of watching Sloan. Yeah, I think the like third or fourth time you came back to get coffee in this like fairly short span of time, the barista just like handed it to you with a worried expression. <laughs> <laughs> like didn't charge you for it. They were just like, if if this is, if you need this, just, just take it. I think, okay, I think I, I walk over to Sleepwalker propped up and I hand you, I can only get the one elephant ear. I know sugar. I know you got a bit crashed with sugar, but like it'll help you for now. I could only get one. Oh, no, it's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Peel off a little piece, start dunking it in the coffee. It's nice As... and bright out here today. <laughs> it is pretty bright out. Yeah, it's probably not your favorite um, setting of light. I probably need it is the thing. <laughs> you're gonna get some vitamin D. <laughs> if you're, if, not necessarily willingly, but you are gonna get some today. Um, sort of like as you're all finishing up what you're doing, uh, like most people are making their way now. Uh, it's You've got about like five minutes till the parade's slated to start. Um, and you can distantly hear, cause like, you know how parades start further down than you can actually see them. You can hear the distant sound of like three different high school marching bands playing their school songs at the same time. <laughs> and you know that it's coming. Uh, so all of y'all can like group up and be ready on the side of the, um, like side of the road for the festival if you'd like. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I uh, one of my uh, moves is uh, a Kirby craft, which is a vehicle from my home. Um, so I have like a zero emissions uh, vehicle uh, with like you know it looks it looks pretty sexy, like a like a Mustang, but it also just purrs instead of like makes loud noises. Um, I know nothing so, about the breeds of car, but this is fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's based on a horse. Uh, but it's yeah, thick. it's nice and pink <laughs> with green. Uh, and it has nice, like, fan and heated seats. Uh, and I, I just look over at Sleepwalker. I was like, hey, uh, want to get in on this uh, this very comfy chair? You could pull shit back can get some tunes going. Um and I started playing, uh, was it Luther Vandross, like, home is not a home, just <laughs> kind of like, <laughs> you know, why don't you just relax a little bit, man? You can <laughs> you can see the longing in Sleepwalker's <laughs> eyes at this offer of, oh, how plush those seats look. Oh, yeah. Oh, and what's this in the dashboard? Is that a very comfy oh. and heated weighted blanket? Oh, man, I totally forgot to bring this out. Uh, and put it back home from in the future uh but hey it's here so i don't know might as well do you want to use it no 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 he okay, sets coffee just... down and stop teasing him. a bit and i'm not a bit teasing him i just eye know. drops in the eyes <laughs> <laughs> there's like a dark to shock that right away <laughs> know about when they sleep like come on like oh do you want the dark prophecy to happen i don't know whatever Whatever has to happen to get to the future, um, 
I'm excited to get to. Uh, also, and... are you allowed to just tell us about the future? I feel like that like breaks a rule, right? <laughs> um, I, people are always worried about it in movies, but you know, the, the future is it's gonna be okay no matter what. Uh, hopefully, um, at least my future is. I, I don't know. I don't know time stuff. I just I just have enough money to travel through time. You I'm not think you like a? Pamphlet? You should probably have like a PhD in order to do that. It oh just... no, no, I'm just a regular dude. In the future, we're all rich, so you know we could all do what we want and i really wanted to travel through time and help people using did you the resources. ignore the uh like uh like they gave you all those handouts about time yeah, travel? Just... <laughs> <laughs> no one reads the instructions on uh the appliances okay i'm not gonna read the manual for a time travel appliance <laughs> yeah i'm like okay there's a microwave and there's my time travel device uh does this coupon still work for today 10 percent off thank you <laughs> Uh, and then I just went home and, and just like, all right, let's go. Let's be yeah. a hero. <laughs> well, uh, while you're trying to uh, convince poor Sleepwalker to take a nap, um, <laughs> to no avail as he continues putting eye drops in. Six, just 16 more hours. Just 16 just more hours, 16 more <laughs> hours they say. A um, home is not a home. Uh, you, uh, the first of those like high school bands comes through. Uh, in their little marching band uniforms and the drum line's really thrilled to be here and everyone else is like upset because they had to be here at 6 a.m. for this even though it started at 2 and so like all the like brass players look exhausted but they are marching <laughs> and then the person in front with the flag is like really going hard um, and they're playing loud enough that like even if you had tunes going in your car, you probably can't hear them super well anymore because uh, you've got some trumpets are happening. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll let and... them interrupt the Van Dross. So that's okay. <laughs> yeah, they're just going through. Yeah. Um, and uh, sort of like in the aftermath as the band begins to pass, uh, you notice that the band was covering up like the sounds of the crowd. Um, and you hear a series of like gasps and whispers and like the crowd goes a little bit quiet from their cheering. Um, and as all of you look up, uh, you notice that the uh, second car in the parade, which was supposed to be the car that uh, ha like housed the float of the summer court um, is almost empty. Uh, all of the like thrones that have been placed atop the float are empty. Um, and the only like person in the vehicle is an automaton that is driving the car itself. So it is also missing its like human driver and there is instead an automaton in its place. Um, and all of the like decorations have been disheveled and like uh, torn and broken. Uh, and across each of the like what would be thrones, uh, there is uh, a spray painted blue H that is almost the logo of Halcyon City, like almost your like city like services logo, except it's like sharper and twisted, like at a funky angle, but like intentionally so. Is this normal for the present? Is <laughs> no, no. What year no. is it? Because the Terminator Apocalypse is what sometime what. The what? <laughs> You know what? Uh, That's not important right now. You know, yeah, I, not important. Let's not important out right what now. This is. Uh, I would. Okay, so I have a move straight up creeping. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when you scope out a person, place, roll plus mundane, and then other stuff. Hell yeah. Go for it. Oh, shit. That's a. Uh, uh, wow. That's a <laughs> it's math. A, it's a 15. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, okay. I, I crit. I rolled win. a 12. Hell yeah. <laughs> Just win the game. Uh, All right. So what I'm do 10 plus. What do you need to do on a 15? <laughs> uh, I asked two. Okay. Um. So the first one here will ask is, what happened here recently? With like, can I like, I'm trying to find. Uh, I I go into detective mode. I have some fucking cool like Batman gloves or some shit. Hell they're yeah. Like, they're like scanning the ground, and I'm trying to find like, d like the like spray paint lets off a, a gas and i'm trying to like follow the gas if oh. they throw it away to, like so like what happened here we see is like where did they like where did they go kind of okay. thing um you sort of like using your magical detecting gloves um and your innate ability to find things note that like 
who like whoever did this um clearly like took the people out of their chairs did the spray painting and then brought the spray paint with them as they ran off um and you can kind of just vaguely like smell slash sense it going down one of the like alleys towards the beginning of the parade so you get the sense that the court left the like let like the loading zone for the parade on mm -hmm. the car and were stopped before they got to like the like publicly viewed zone and my second one uh it's so whose place is this with like who like is this a tag we know have we seen this tag around yeah um this is one of like this is a newer tag that you've seen um and like not in any of the general like places you've only ever seen it like on flyers and things uh it's a new group that uh are naming them have named themselves the hierarchy uh and they are uh a group that is set on preserving halcyon city's uh like foundations uh and in the meaning the way of like gentrification and like making the city a place for the wealthy um they are very much like uh, status quo kind of organization. Uh, it is like rumored that the like founders of the group and its funding comes from executives in a lot of the Skyrise companies here in Halcyon, but none of their uh, identities have been revealed as members. Uh, all right, cool. So um, they went that way, um, <laughs> and I think it's those 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 fucking rich kids not pepper well no actually my i'm not i mean technically i'm rich for this uh century but in my century i'm i'm the medium income um so I, that doesn't i don't know if that makes me feel better i don't right. know it's it's good a lot has changed then let's it's, go uh, does yeah, your so... does your car have like a fancy computer pepper uh no, I, I really went 100% into comfort and not functionality. It still does drive, though. So if anyone wants oh, to good. drive. Oh, good, it does drive. I don't, cool. it, you I don't can know get it how to, to not drive. drive? You don't... I don't know how to drive it. So if someone could, it's a stick shift. Uh, so I, I hear some people in this age. Katie has already taken off. Oh, oh God. Hold on. <laughs> Katie, can you pull us? Just pull us, like, behind you while you're... <laughs> Will you hurry up? Okay. I... <laughs> I Go will walk. Rope. <laughs> no, <laughs> I will parkour through the city as a superhero should. Which of your superpowers is driving a stick shift? <laughs> yeah, does anyone have, have that superpower? That, I don't have that superpower. I'm so sorry. Think <laughs> the stick has to go into one, and then I don't know. Can we, can we duel? Maybe two of us tries this. Uh, <laughs> I'll push pedals, and the other person play with that stick, and we'll figure it out. <laughs> Jack will uh, be in there helping you out. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you be like man. one, um, right? Run. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's just like. Uh, can can one either both of you can roll mundane, or one of you can roll mundane with plus one to see how good you are at driving a stick shift car. Uh, Jack, I will assist you, uh, and I'll give you that plus one. Uh, I I feel like I'm just like, God. I wish I didn't spill Dr Pepper on this user's manual. It's just. <laughs> You don't read the manual. I don't, but now I need to to figure out these pedals and this stick and why they're connected. <laughs> uh, uh, what kind of a die is it? Uh, two d six plus whatever you have in mundane, um, and then plus one from uh, Pepper helping you. Uh, so that is a ten on the dice. Oh, nice. Oh, minus Six. two. Oh, plus one. So a total of nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Math. <laughs> um, so with a nine, I mean, like, it's definitely not the smoothest stick shift driving you ever experienced. Yes. There's a lot of jerking, clunky. but you don't stall the car, which is very important. <laughs> Yes. I do right. think still that uh, Sloan's going to parkour and get there before you do. <laughs> stalling in your car all the time. I was going to say, Katie has already taken off, so yeah, I'll, uh, be, I'll be following Yeah, our detective uh, friend. <laughs> Sloan, you can kind of like 
see the trail almost with the use of your like tech. Um, you can like, uh, if like, if you're ex imagining like comic panels, you know how like when there's a smell in like comics or animation, there's that like scent trail, you're following something like that, but like a hot blue. Um, and it leads you like down an alley uh, and then at the other end of that alley, uh, the trail kind of goes cold. Um, you can tell that whoever like was running put people into a vehicle probably and went uh, quite quickly. So the smell doesn't get like, doesn't gather quite as well. Uh, I've changed into my hero suit, which is like Tell all, it's like all black and gray, like tactical gear. My mask like, like clicks into place, like from the sides, you know, that's how I'm oh tracking gosh. it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't have like a head part or anything. Um, and I have like, you know, cool, fucking ninja turtle katanas on my back uh Hell yeah. <laughs> what makes a ninja turtle exactly <laughs> it makes it ninja turtle in that they are on my back which is impractical and not yeah, where you yeah. would put katanas love it <laughs> uh that's why they're on my back because it looks cooler not because it's where it's easy to grab a sword that long from 100 approve. <laughs> uh blood alone for like parkouring but I'm in a fake comic book world. It doesn't matter. It's super easy in this world. Yeah. Don't don't try that at home, anyone. <laughs> if for some reason you're thinking about it, I'm letting you know right now you're gonna get hurt. Uh <laughs> yeah, I get I'll just I I will I will like freeze from there until uh at least Katie Christmas. catches up. Yeah. Are you changing into is Katie changing into Starburst gear? Kate, yeah, Katie has um Katie wears the scarf always but the uh, jacket's coming off and underneath it is the yellow and white and silver trim um yeah. starburst uh outfit oh, yes and, and um she doesn't have a mask on uh everybody knows she's starburst so it's not that big of a deal for her but she does have a little emblem on her chest that's like a seven pointed star Ooh! oh snap nice. that's a real hero right there nice yeah, you definitely, uh, Bran, are you, uh, Sleepwalker, are you riding in the car with, uh... Yeah, come on. I was gonna... on this. Very I do not want to ride in that car. <laughs> it's yeah. gonna test me. With I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna say once I saw, uh, I guess now Starburst charging forward, I, um, reach my arms into the void. So I guess anyone watching just sees my arms disappear. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to, um... Uh, pull them out in a, a winged fashion. I want to have some, some nice feathery wings and attempt to uh, give myself a little bit of a flight mobility. That's amazing. Go ahead and roll freak Sick. for me. Uh, t -t 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 11? 11. Ooh. That's a perfect success. So yeah, absolutely. You come Ooh. out and you've got like uh, like almost like Howl's Moving Castle-esque like wings. Um, God, everyone can, has such cool powers. <laughs> and you can propel yourself forward and also definitely beat the car. Right. Jax, what's your, what's your I'll power? Use that in, you'll use that in following Katie, um, who's led the way and just, you know, kind of kind of fumble land <laughs> yeah. once we reach the, uh, the alley. Does Sleepwalker have a, a hero outfit or are they wear the no, same No, it stuff? is just these, these <laughs> Perfect. robes. <laughs> these scratchy robes <laughs> party city halloween costume <laughs> robes oh, oh no, no. <laughs> the whole point is i can't wear anything comfortable nope. oh if I, if I had a snuggie on i'd be down so <laughs> this is so sad i'll explain this to you <laughs> it's a snuggie that's been dragged through pine needles exactly <laughs> <laughs> all right uh then pepper and jack arriving in the car uh are, did y'all change into if you have uh super outfits or not uh no i uh i put a sticker on my shoulder that says not from the future um <laughs> and i think that'll pretty much cover it uh where's pepper <laughs> <laughs> maybe yeah not from the future yeah jack what's your powers again other than being perfect with that stick <laughs> pausing to not laugh at the joke in my head sorry i got you <laughs> <laughs> for shame <laughs> i had to remember that we're live and i can't make the joke out loud so it, it always in the head 
Yeah, no, Fair I, enough. I feel you. I feel you. I, I softballed that up to you, and I'm sorry for that. <laughs> oh, all good. Uh, Jack <laughs> is a uh, telekinetic. Ooh. Oh, yeah. could you just lift me over there? Could you just lift the car? But the other thing is, Jack has to know how things work. Otherwise, oh. it's going to drive him insane, and then he goes on a spiral, and that leads to his doom. Oh, ooh, that works out perfectly then. Yeah. <laughs> just hand you the manual. There you go. Glad you got to learn how stick shift cars work today. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Let's Jack's do this. Hero, Jack's hero outfit is literally a big pair of glasses. And that is it. <laughs> it's just plain clothes <laughs> and a glasses. giant pair of glasses. Flawless, incredible no notes. <laughs> I love that. I love like two like superhero dress people showing up. One person looking like they are dressed like a superhero, but it's purely mechanical, so they don't sleep. And then, like, just, like, two fucking people. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel we're, we're, Jack and I are, like, was it Eminem and Dr. Dre, like, without me when we were <laughs> up, Batman and Robin in that car? Just like... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you so much to the person in the chat explaining how stick shift works. <laughs> You you push it. Much yeah. appreciated. Um, <laughs> also, we got a <laughs> donation. Thank you for donating. Yeah. Oh yeah, awesome. yeah, thanks for donating. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and if you'd like to uh, support the cause that we're uh, working for today, we're playing for the National Abortion Federation, um, which supports abortion providers to to deliver patient centered, evidence based care. Um, so if you've got money to spare, uh, 10 bucks not only gets you entry into our raffle, but also lets you give a plus one to any of my supers. Or me, I guess, if you would like to. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> um, but anyway, as you all sort of arrive, um, Sloan, who got here first, is noticing that uh, definitely whoever took the court uh, put them into some sort of car. Um, to get them out of here, probably something large, considering there are like five of them that needed to be transported. Say I'm that like, again. I left my body. I forgot oh. my name was Sloan. <laughs> You're so good. <laughs> uh, you, as you reach here, like the trail doesn't disappear, but it kind of like diffuses, and you can guess that they loaded the five court members probably into like a car or van to take them to where they're actually holding them. Can anyone here fly? I can't remember if anyone can fly. Uh, uh, Currently, I can. Got, I can... Yeah, Sleepwalker's yeah. got wings right now, so. Uh, so a car took off from here. I don't know how long ago. You come for like a big, can you get up there and see me see like a big van and let us know over comms? I, uh, I look up to <laughs> Starburst. Um, oh, a, yeah, a I got little you. little help on the, uh, <laughs> the updraft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just toss. I got you. Um, yeah, are you? Because uh, like you can, with your wings still out, you could like fly around. So uh... I'm going to launch Sleepwalker into the sky. <laughs> Hell yeah! Um, sort of looking around, you know what to look for because uh, Sloan's giving you a description of probably a larger van or small truck, um, and you know exactly like about where they are. Uh, go ahead and. Roll me, looking at stats. Uh, roll me a, roll me superior. Ooh. Ooh. And take a plus one from getting uh, both told where things are and getting pushed up into the sky. Uh, 12. A 12, all right. Um, so you can, let's, uh, I'll tell, uh, I'll do, I'll tell you where, and then I'll let you ask me one of the assess the situation, uh, questions. So you can see, uh, in terms of like, not many folks are driving right now, which is nice for you. Um, cause most people are like, I'm not driving downtown where that parade is. If you, if my life depended on it. <laughs> so it's quite easy to see the like large kind of like black, uh, SUV style, uh, car that's going a little too fast and a little too crazy on the streets for someone who's just going down to the fair. Um, and you can see that it's headed out towards the warehouses uh, that sort of like exist on the edge of town. Um, and then you can ask me any of the questions in the assess the situation uh, basic move. 
Um, I do not have that in front of me. What would you I, advise would be my best? To... <laughs> I can read them to you and then y'all please, can- Please, please. Yeah. Uh, what here can I use to blank, uh, whatever you'd like to ask? What here is the biggest threat? What here is in the greatest danger? Who here is most vulnerable to me? And how can we best end this quickly? I guess we'll go with how best can we end this quickly. All right. Because I think time is going to be of the essence if they're speeding off that direction. Yeah. I think uh, the way to end this the fastest would be to see if you could cut their car off before they get to the warehouse. Because once they get to a warehouse, you'll have to infiltrate. Um, so if you can find a way to cut their car off, you would end this quicker than if you had to infiltrate the warehouse where they're going to be keeping them. All right. Um, I want to try to yell down to the... Uh, You've got comms. You can just oh, like... Comms. Oh, all right. Yeah, you can tap your ear. Yeah, I got us a good plan. Well, a little tricky because I have to tap against a wing span. <laughs> <laughs> Black SUV. Uh, warehouse district. Got to go. Come on, come on, come on. And I'm going to hey. attempt to go towards it. Yeah, Make sure to stay over way. when you're done. <laughs> There's a long pause before. Over. <laughs> all right, thank you. Uh, does anyone mind if I put on some music through the head comms? Um, what? Yes. Some soft jazz or something? No, oh, no, we're in a chase scene. It's got to be something action-y. Okay. Uh, Penny Lover by Lionel <laughs> Richie. Uh, starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's uh... Sip Walker's careening down. To the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, he died doing what he loved. <laughs> nice lo-fi beats to fight crime to <laughs> um okay 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 i'm like fast i'm not that fast uh pepper you need to give us a ride to the warehouse district yeah I'm sure fast. should i uh Bye. should i get the airplane or the fighter jet or i don't know you have a car i'm going to oh, get in your it. car, in car. <laughs> okay yeah we could use my car i mean yeah we haven't looked at the instruction manuals for the airplane i bought it like the other day but it's it was it came with the microwave. All right, so yeah, I, let, I let's get do this in car. the car. <laughs> the microwave. All right, Jack, do it. Do the thing with this. With the, uh, I'm not gonna say it, but that Driving stick, stick shift. Yes. <laughs> knob did, knob didn't Wait, help are either. You two, right? <laughs> are you two working the car together? Yes, yes, I think this is how it works. We're no. pretty sure. Uh, move, move, move. <laughs> I, I, I push Pepper into the back. Trust me, I, I'm like, from the pee, future. I like peel out. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. wow! Hey, I did not know it could go that fast. Did you, Jack? Was... I did not. Holy heck! Are you yeah. sure you're like operating this vehicle safely, slow? No. Okay. <laughs> you're not jerking. Are you supposed to jerk? Yeah, I think you're supposed to jerk. Like jerking. <laughs> oh God! Never mind. Let's. We're just gonna go <laughs> before this gets off the rails. <laughs> uh, Wait, so you have a train. <laughs> you have a plane. Uh, yeah, I have lots right. of stuff from from the future. Wait, we have stuff. plane and train. Do you have a train? If you have a train, you have planes, train, and an automobile. Oh, yes. thank you. <laughs> I mean, my train's still on layaway, but it's I could I could I could take it out if I really incomprehensible. Need it. <laughs> um. All right. Uh. So that's how the car is going. How I would like to hear how people yeah. getting to the warehouse. Is going. Yeah, that, that's how the car is going. How are my two uh, running I'm, and flying folks? Oh, going? I'm just running. I'm just running. I'm, I'm pretty fast. So nice. Um, but yeah. the more, by the way, the more that I pick up speed, the more like energy that I like gather, like kinetic oh. energy wise. So um, when I get to the district, I'm just going to burst through the door. So are uh, are you are you going for the car? Like, are you gonna like run run into the car, or are you going? Oh, sure, for... let's do that. Let's injure everybody in that. I, I don't care. I'm just here to stop the bad guys. Am I supposed to save people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'll just uh, I'll just go in front of the car and just kind of stand there and just wait for it to uh, hit me, and they'll, we'll see if they hit me. Okay. Um. Do you want to roll? Uh, do you want to roll to unleash your powers for me? Because this car is going fast yeah. enough they're probably going to hit you. Yeah! And tell me what happens when this car tries to hit you and gets hit back 
real hard <laughs> instead. Sick. One second. Math is hard. Three plus one. Eleven. An eleven. That's yeah. a perfect success. So you don't even have to mark a condition. Uh, you just get to tell me exactly what happens. Okay, I'll tell you exactly what happens. Um, Katie, who is glowing, uh, is stands in front of the car in the street, in front of the car, just kind of turns around, embraces her shoulder, and the people in the car panic a little bit. And um, instead of hitting her, they don't hit her, but they swerve and then uh, completely tip over on their side and skid until they reach a stop on the curb. Nice. Um, which gives all of y'all plenty of time to catch up. Um, and why don't we take a quick break here real fast, like a 10 minute break. Uh, and then we'll uh, let y'all open the car and see what's happening inside when we get back. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I hope you had a good little break. Um, as a reminder, this game that we're playing is a part of a weekend long event, uh, raising funds for the National Abortion Federation. The National Abortion Federation's mission is to unite, represent, serve, and support abortion providers in delivering patient-centered, evidence-based care. For every $10 you donate, you'll receive an entry to win one of over 30 of our donation raffle prizes. And you can also give any of my players or me a plus one to any of our roles. Uh, all of my players would very much like it if you didn't give them to me. <laughs> Smoke yeah. pointing to everyone that is not our game master. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, uh, everyone who donates more than $5 will also receive a PDF uh, of a game from um, Underground Oracle Publishing. So even if you can only afford $5, you still get something. Um, and this money goes to a super important cause because reproductive rights are human rights. Uh, before the break, we uh, had the beginnings of a nice little festival and parade, only to find that the Halcyon City Summer Court had been kidnapped. Uh, so our group of heroes tracked down the uh, SUV that was taking them into the warehouse district, and Starburst absolutely stopped them in their tracks, and the car has been flipped as the rest of you arrive to the scene, uh, and you can uh, go and open the doors to the car. Uh, you see that the, like, hench people who are who are driving the car are like in the process of trying to open the doors and clamber out uh but obviously the one on the side can't open his door and the other one is trying to kind of fight gravity to get their door open so they're having some difficulties right now as you all come back into the scene i would like to open the door and grab the guy by the collar and just kind of lift him out hell yeah um, these dudes look kind of like nondescript henchmen, uh, like wearing like black face masks and then like all black clothing. Uh, not exactly your most uh, showy or well-dressed hench folk, um, but you can easily just kind of grab one up by the collar and toss him out of the car. Oh, no, I don't want to toss him. I just want to hold Oh, you're him. just holding him? Great. Yeah, I'm just going to be like, hey, what is this about? Uh, and like sort of like seeing you and having seen you just literally face off against a car uh, <laughs> like the hench person kind of like puts their hands up and is like I'm not armed I'm not armed I don't care uh we we they just paid us to take to take him to take him to the warehouse I, I don't I don't know what they're doing to him which warehouse uh, uh on uh 35th and uh, D Street. Thanks. I drop him. <laughs> and like you, and you, like he, like falls back into the car, and like his boot <laughs> kicks the other guy in the face, <laughs> and the two of them are just kind of like in like a person pile on the bottom of a car, <laughs> grunting and grumbling. Uh, and you can hear uh, like muffled like <clears throat> from the back seat, like the back of the van. Okay. Uh, also, the rest of y'all have uh, like arrived to this as well. You're yeah, all... I I pull up the whip behind their car. Uh, <laughs> you parallel uh, park falls. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yes. What, that's like, your superpower. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Parallel parking. Yeah, that's that really superpower. good. Oh, I get nice. out cool too. Like I get out when the car is like still has some inertia but is off. Uh. Yeah. And I'll, I like open the, uh, is there a back door? Is it like a panel van or? Uh, yeah. So it's, it's, it's got one of those like back doors you can load people into. Yeah. So I open 
I open that door. Yeah. Uh, and you see inside there are the five uh, Halcyon City Summer Court members, like dressed to the nines, like very much like just got yeeted off of their float. Uh, they all look pretty frightened and like concerned. Uh, their hands and feet are bound and they're all gagged as well. Uh, I'll start, I think loading them out is quicker better than like, because it could be like load out and then there's like a, someone and else will untie them. It feels more important. I start getting them out, yeah. and then someone else can do something else. I figured I would be oh. when Jack is coming in and like, well, untying one with hands, like psychically untying, untying another, another one. <laughs> you say I, I I landed like a drunken pigeon <laughs> <laughs> under there, looking at the wings, and kind of like slap at my face and kind of shake off the feathers, and all kind of dissipates to the hands again start working to try to untie some of our captives start. um the ones who did this are in the warehouse on what was it 35th and i think it's the 37th and d or 35th and d I, I picked some numbers yeah 35th and d is what you said yeah <laughs> cool which is that way so if we want to figure out who did this and uh you know oh i guess yeah. it work out Pepper, do you own that one? What? The warehouse. Do you own that warehouse? Uh, no, I'm from the future. My, I don't, I don't know. really own property. Uh, that's not really a thing anymore. That's, so this you isn't know? your car. Uh, I <laughs> mean, car? it's, it's car. you know, like scooters in your time period where people yeah. just get on them and do whatever they want and leave it where they want. That, that's kind of what this vehicle is. So. You can just leave it in the past for anybody to just. <laughs> yeah, I mean, someone else in the future just see it and be like, "Oh, is there like a like because the scooter people come get stuff?" Is there yeah, like there's a, an app. Is there like a <laughs> car? Is there like a car person who's like, "Oh, it's in 2022." That's right. Yeah. It just comes back and gets it. Exactly. It's it's a goober app. You're like, "Oh, I need to pick this up." Okay, yeah. And then you you come over here and you grab it and then you take it wherever you want to go. So it's chill. Logical. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. It's a superpower. Um, <laughs> it's someone's superpower. They just and, travel and, and find know these where cars. the car. Yeah, they just know where the cars are. Yeah, like it's for, like, can like you turn Professor the alarm X, on? They, they've got Cerebro, but for cars. <laughs> I'm sorry, you mean Carebro? Carebro. <laughs> I'd see that movie. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, so you guys want me to do an airstrike at that location, or what? We no, talking about? no, that's not fun. Oh. And 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 there might be more hostages. <laughs> oh um, yeah, yeah that no, too, I guess. you're right. Uh, or I give them cool. these comfort blankets I have. Did you want one too, Sleepwalker? No, 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 okay. no, no, no. I pull out a, a thermos from my side. <laughs> Pour a little bit of coffee. All right, I'll I'll give the the kidnap people some. Uh, uh, they're they're called therapy weighted blankets because they also provide therapy from a uh, legitimate uh, therapist from the future. Um, so you just talk into the blanket, uh, and they will uh, they'll take care of you. All right, there's a lot to go through. It's also free, so don't worry about it. I, I don't think you're aware of how great an idea this is. <laughs> <laughs> Stop Look, talking! I'm taking that. My day job is being a therapist. Stop talking! I'm taking that idea. <laughs> I'm gonna become the richest person on earth by creating <laughs> blankets that connect you with therapists. Heck yeah, you'll, take the idea. All I ask is I get one blanket. Sure, you'll get a blanket. Sweet. <laughs> We're gonna run better help out of the fucking world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> gonna, Finally. I'm gonna drop kick them off a bridge. <laughs> it starts here. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, so uh, you all you wrap all of the uh, the court members in these very nice blankets and uh like instruct them on how to use it and all, all of them begin immediately like talking to a crisis line because you know they just got kidnapped and they'd like some uh, some support yeah. um <laughs> and uh like i feel like all the voices sound like morgan freeman because i can't think of a more <laughs> gentle voice i'd want to hear um and at the like i assume y'all have like a way to contact like uh like the emergency services to get them like taken to like a hospital in case they need to like see a doctor for a little bit of stuff yeah um, it's still so, 911 like, right oh it's pretty yeah we could just call did anyone does someone want to make a phones. call or 
Yeah. I know, I know Sloan has to. Sloan has to. Am I the only one with a cell phone? <laughs> I, mean, I have a cell phone, please. My service doesn't work have here. A phone. I'm a 17 year old girl. So you have Insta, but no. you have a phone. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I could buy a phone from the future and maybe we can get like a network together, like a family plan or something, and then. Then we can call. This is why we're walking to the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, yeah, y'all, y'all are like, abandoned like, the car. Or we're just walking. Yeah, we'll yeah, abandon the car. A Goober, Goober will get it. Uh, and uh, um, I mean, how many like text messages are we going to send? What's what's people's like active data plans? What, what are we talking about here? Pepper, do you know what we do? <laughs> yeah, we help people. We're we're we we do helping stuff in the twentieth yeah. century. This is the twentieth century, right? The I've made a no, mistake. This is twenty first. Oh, oh crap! <laughs> the history books just kind of mash that whole thing together. Right? Yeah, that's uh... all. <laughs> okay, uh, then forget what I said about the Terminator stuff. Uh, what? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Let's. Let's go. Wow, this building looks amazing. Is that a second floor to it? That's cool. <laughs> Look at you guys go with your construction. That's awesome. Good for you. <laughs> um, so as you're, uh, as you're approaching the warehouse, uh, from the outside, it looks nondescript, uh, kind of your, your basic run-of-the-mill concrete warehouse with a metal roof, that sort of style. Uh, there are like those like second floor kind of industrialized windows that have like the bars across them but let some light into the inside uh, but down on the first floor there aren't any windows just like a front door and you would assume all of y'all from living here they probably have a back door as well <coughs> uh, so what's the plan i just say we knock down the door and start kicking it some ass let's listen to the 17 year old I was or gonna I suggest all... I go in through the back door. Okay, I'll take front. You take back. Sure. Also, I'm proud for all of us not snickering. Good job, guys. Good job. What do you mean? Ah, nothing, nothing. Uh, Sloan's just gonna back go in the back. The uh, who's going through the front? Is it is just is just Starburst gonna slam through the front door and then you're all, the rest of y'all are gonna sneak around the back while she's uh, distracting people? Sure, distracting people out in the front there. Well, I feel exactly. like I, I want to work. follow safely behind Starburst. Yeah, uh, me. safely behind. <laughs> but I feel like I feet. I fit very well in the role as sidekick to Jack, so I will be behind him. So me both of you are following uh, Starburst. Yeah. Huh? And I'll 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 head towards the back of Sloan. All right. Oh, it's kind of cold. Did you want this jacket? I hand him like a heat warmed vibrating jacket. <laughs> Why does so much stuff in the future vibrate? Can you explain that to me? <laughs> Look, if it can vibrate, it should. Okay. Do you Everything do, can do, be do glasses better. vibrate? <laughs> Oh, if you terrible. want like a massage oh, on your nose, okay. yeah, the little like clear plastic things just kind of like rub against your oh, nose. It's more like and... a little tiny shiatsu. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? It's actually, amazing. It would be really nice, actually, uh, unrelated, if they could like massage the temple so you don't get headaches. So often, See? Sick. Everything is made better. <laughs> there have been some million dollar ideas in this game. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> We're vastly disappointed by the next century. <laughs> Stop. Take it a shark tank, y'all. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's uh, let's go with uh, our frontline loud team after uh, first, and then we'll let our sneak team come in the back as everyone's uh, sort of distracted. Um, so go ahead, Jazz. Tell me how. Uh, tell me, uh, Starburst. Tell me how you get through the uh, the door. It is just oh. a normal warehouse door. So <laughs> yes, um, she backs up like twenty feet. And just kind of like bounces, stretches, and runs at it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, give me a unleash your powers. Roll freak for me. Did Ooh. you want to TikTok this? Uh, math, math, 13. A 13. That's perfect. Tell me exactly what happens. I will tell you exactly what happens. Uh, she starts glowing. 
uh, she starts uh, gaining speed uh, the more that she goes. And then she just, I mean, she does the same thing. She turns her shoulder and she runs right into it. And it just completely blows the door off its hinges and throws it like 30 feet into the warehouse. So whoever is behind that, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> Oh, it's like yeah the door like slams forward um and you see that you're in kind of like what appears to be almost like uh like a uh like a like a smuggling warehouse there's a lot of cages here um and some of them have like exotic animals in them and things like that like definitely a warehouse that whatever this group is using it for they also use it for uh like smuggling things in and out of halcyon city um, and your the door kind of like slams into the floor and like five or six like hench people sort of like all of a sudden look at once uh, and like see you in the doorway and like begin making their way towards uh, you. Cool. I'm just vib- vibrating. Yeah. I'm just- <laughs> uh, you, do, you do see that one of the hench people's like leg is like sticking out from underneath the door. You, you, did, you did slam one of them pretty good. Not bad. Oh, I, I'm going to whisper. Kinda... Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say she's just standing there thrumming in the doorway, glowing. Ooh, I'm going to whisper to Jack. It, she has a museum, you know, in the future. It's pretty cool. <gasps> I've been to it. The The cheese fries at the cafeteria is amazing. Cheese fries, you say? Been... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like that nacho, like hot cheese, yellowish liquid that you guys have here. Ah. Cheese at a museum, though. Yeah, well, like the cafeteria for the museum, you know, like the Smith, you know, how the Smithsonian, like you can get food, but also learn stuff. That's that's kind of the principle, all right. <laughs> I'm taking you to the future. I feel like you've missed out on some stuff. <laughs> I I think I may have. I'm not too sure though. Um, yeah, well, as, I got you. As the uh, as the like henchmen begin sort of like converging on you, we're gonna flip to the back uh and let our back door folks sneak in uh so let um, me know what you're doing does this door is the door open uh Can it try is, and open it? uh it is not open but if you like test it it's not locked either uh yeah i'll just like gonna slowly like uh creak it i'm going to put uh one of my swords in to see what i can see in the room awesome Ooh. Uh, go ahead and roll me to assess the situation. Uh, is that superior? Superior? Can yeah. I straight up creep? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Can I? Can I assist on our sneaking? Uh, yeah. You can. Uh, so take plus one to your roll. Uh, with your straight up creeping. That's good. Uh, <laughs> three. Uh, seven. I rolled Woo! really low, so thank you for the plus one that Woo! saved it. Uh, <laughs> on a seven to nine, I can ask one. Um, yep. ooh, uh, I don't know how to get in. What happened here recently? Um, most recently, you can see like the newest thing that they've set up. Um, is like these five chairs that are attached to uh, a system of tubes that seem to go to these weird like vats of some sort of bubbling like blue substance. Uh, I'll 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 go in and like signal for Sleepwalker to come in. Uh, I think they were gonna turn the court into Smurfs. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Um, <laughs> Rubbing my uh, chin, looking at the <laughs> the situation. He might be right. <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, if, I, I look, can't prove otherwise. It would be strange to have Smurfs as your summer court, so it would uh, definitely disrupt the party a little bit. <laughs> um. Let's let's see what else we can find back here before they before we get to the fun. Yeah. And you can kind of like hear the sounds of like something happening towards the front where you know that uh Starburst is knocked you in. 
Um, from your angle, you can also see, uh, and you're sneaking, so I won't like let, they, they don't see you, uh, but there's kind of like a, like, you know, those like big viewing windows from a second floor, like, mm -hmm. like office slash laboratory that's like yeah. up on the, like up there on the second floor. Um, and there are a couple of uh, like, you can't see them clearly because the glass is tinted, um, but there are a couple of people up there. <laughs> as you're sneaking your way up the stairs to get there let's pop to the front and let y'all uh beat up some hench people yeah uh That's so you're here for you're all in the space now yeah the two that followed after starburst and joined yes. in with her um so all three of you are uh in this like cage area of the warehouse where like i said there's a lot of like exotic animals in cages possibly some less than legal experimentation happening with these animals as well from what you can guess um and the five hench people who are just sort of here to guard these cages are encroaching on you um how would you like to in like would you all like to roll to directly engage a threat for me roll danger yeah oh oh god yeah uh sure Not i love the imagery of just like pepper just this like dude just like uh <laughs> yeah i'm like you don't I have start pulling to. you can do no, something no. else <laughs> uh i mean i'm gonna pull out money and just be like if anyone wants to not fight uh <laughs> this is like a grand uh we'll start from there uh and we'll handle this like a uh oh, what, are, what are those with uh you know i would just horses? like to take the grand from pepper <laughs> and pocket yeah. it and then just go to town <laughs> Oh, I was really okay. hoping he was gonna uh, whip 20... that thing at someone's head. <laughs> Did you want money? I mean, I I got you. Like I would, I would love money. Okay, yeah. Hey, I would love to invest uh, as long as I get like I don't know, maybe some free nachos at your museum. I have a museum. Yeah, in the future. Oh crap! I shouldn't tell you. Uh, yes, yes, you do. Ooh, it's yeah. got good nachos. Okay, nachos for life. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right. I'm gonna record that real quick and uh yeah all right there's some money and uh yeah for everyone else let's if you guys just want to leave or turn yourselves in here's here's money uh for you uh i rolled an eight by the nice way. <laughs> um so uh on a seven to nine you get to pick one from the list so mm -hmm. you can either resist or avoid them hitting you back take something from them, create an opportunity, or impress, surprise, or frighten them, whatever you I like would to like to impress, surprise, and frighten. Hell yeah. So tell me what it looks like as you're beating up these dudes, one of whom definitely, like, saw the money in Pepper's hand and began going towards Pepper to take the money and just oh, get cool. the fuck out of here. Heck yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll leave. I'll leave him alone. Um, well, but, so. the, but the others, I'll just, I mean, I'll just... I don't, I don't, I don't have any like specific martial arts, so it's very sloppy, but it is very like straight up street fighting, socking, uppercuts, really yeah. dirty you, tricks. Aren't you huge? To the what does this uppercut look like? I get low, I get low, I get low. I'm only like six foot. But I'm oh, a okay. I'm a, that's I'm a huge. That's pretty big. Yeah, what is this? That's a giant. I'm a that's giant. That's Attack on Titan big. <laughs> it's big for a girl, okay? I'm just short. <laughs> I'm also short. I'm also short. I'm also short. Everyone just seems Attack on Titan The national big. average of women is like five foot five or like five foot four or something <laughs> like that, okay? So six feet is massive. Anyway, yes. <laughs> She's just, and she's tossing people over her shoulder. Yeah, you, like, the, the first hench person that you're fighting gets, like, one hit in before you uppercut them out of the, like, existence. <laughs> and then, the like, the other three who are left are, like, staring in fear um, and, like, kind of, like, on the edge of whether or not they're going to um, engage or not. Uh, Jack, what would you like to do? Uh, Jack would like to go running in and like kind of pick up the door that got knocked over like using psychic to pick the door up and he's just gonna like bum rush into the door to 
fly it backwards into one of the other hench persons. Hell yeah. Go ahead and roll uh, either freak or danger for me, whichever one you want to do. Okay. That is... So that's going to be eight plus one, so nine. Nine. All right. Uh, so same results. You get to pick one from the list. Uh, do you want to resist or avoid them? Take something from them. Make an opportunity for your allies or impress, surprise, or frighten them. Uh, this is to create an opportunity for the or for the allies. Cool. Uh, and you just uh, describe what it looks like as you uh, use this door to just totally take out one of these hench people. Yeah. So it just the door just kind of slowly folds back up, and then Jack runs right into it, throws his shoulder, and as he hits it, the door just flies straight back, punching one of the hench persons. They get knocked over. The door falls on top of them almost comically, leaving them open for an attack. Hell yeah. Now there's, and like, moving the door, you see the one hench person that already got crushed by this door when Starburst knocked it through. So now oh, two no. of them. Jack is standing on them. Oh, even better. You're just standing <laughs> on the, the corpse of this hench person. <laughs> um, <laughs> And so there, there, there's only two of them left, and they look scared, like absolutely like floored at the three of you that have come in um, and like are looking between each other like, are we getting paid enough to be here? I don't really know. No, you're not. I, <laughs> I would like to just kind of go, boop. <laughs> and they both like back up <laughs> uh, and like look at each other and like both of them are going to try and like strafe around you and run are they running through a doorway are see they it. running oh, through a doorway <laughs> they are running they're, they're gonna try to get to the door yeah is that know. door open if it's it is open that... i would like to slam it shut it's the one that you blew open so i guess you could, you could put the door back Katie, full yeah. WrestleMania. <laughs> I would like to trip one. Hell yeah. I would um, just like stick my foot out. Yeah, I'll just like, I'm not going to make you roll. I'll just let you do that because of uh, Jack's plus one from earlier. Uh, so you can just trip one and they go sprawling across the floor. And the other one like looks back, but does not stop. Keeps going. Does not help <laughs> the person that fell on the floor. No loyalty. They're so valid. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Should I put the bodies in the future so that we can revive them and put them back in the present? I don't know. I like get them some help or something. If you wanna. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just like drag the corpses and like throw them into the future. All right. Helping is good. Somewhere yeah. in the future, there's like a like a hospital ward that just is receiving bodies. And it's like, oh man, Pepper, that again. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Pepper. <laughs> this is a Con Wendy's. Con <laughs> kind regards. Uh, the dumpster behind the future Wendy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. We Horrifying. sent them to a farm. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, there's one like on the floor that you can just kind of deal with or leave how you'd like, um, but the rest of them are not able or here to fight you. Uh, so you have free reign of walking around this part of the warehouse. Um, I assumed, uh, did y'all comms over to uh, the front door group about what you saw upstairs? Uh, that probably makes your narrative move easier so you can say yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can say no. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we we were over here doing sign language to each other about going up there. So yeah, I was like, I I don't know. I was like, we definitely like didn't say anything. But if anything, uh, Sloan's superior name is Dusk. Dusk would have gone over comms and just said upstairs, but not what we saw. Yeah. Uh, make sure over after the end of it. Question. I'm gonna look, I look at, I look at, oh, over. <laughs> Thank you, because they charge until you say over, and then they don't charge. So I, he wants to say so many things, but he's trying to be quiet. <laughs> over. <laughs> um. So all of y'all know that that's where they're going. And yeah, let's uh slide over to Dusk and Sleepwalker. What's that? Uh, looking at the uh. 
our our observation platform. Yeah. Uh, do we see a stairway up to it, or perhaps um, like shelves that could lead us close enough to a? Uh, yeah. So there is climb like climb and a, smash. There's a direct stairwell that leads to like the little like wire platform with the door that leads in. Um, but there are also like other stairwells and ladders that lead up to the catwalks and all the catwalks also connect to this platform. So you can take one of the side like catwalky areas if you wanted to as well. Do that look uh, over to Sloan? <laughs> I mean, I'll take the front. I can, uh, you know, but it makes <laughs> good tactical sense if you go a different way and we, we then they can't run away whoever they are. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll stealth and go up this, like, I'll go up to the front door, basically. Yeah. Are you opening it, or are you just, like, standing by it? I'm, I'm going in. Uh, I'm, like, I'm gonna go in. Yep. Uh, I assume you've put on your invisibility, and you're just gonna, yeah. like, perfect. Uh, and Sleepwalker, what are you doing? Um, let's, uh, let's try something weird and wrong. Yeah, <laughs> let's do, yeah. uh, Let's do that same reach into the void. Hell yeah. Um, as well as my uh, feet and try to come back with uh, sort of the gecko uh, pads. I love that. And All attempt, right. attempt to uh, <laughs> climb up the wall around up to the glass. Yeah, go ahead and roll freak for me. Uh, 12. Hell yeah. Perfect yes. success. So go ahead and gecko walk up the wall use those uh oh i forget what they're called vanderwall's interactions that's what makes gecko stick to walls nice thank I you i love that you know that oh, yes <laughs> uh yeah go ahead and use those sticky pads and climb up the wall all right uh and like as you're climbing you can see there's no hench people to stop you because they've been <laughs> thoroughly floored by the group at the front uh and are you going to try and go in the window or are you going to try to get like up through the like ceiling of this little observation chamber. Are any of the windows open or is it going to be a, a smash through? Uh, like one of the side windows is like cracked so they can like hear what's happening outside or whatever. Um, but none of them are all the way open. Okay. I'm going to uh, rest just under the open one. Nice. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm just waiting for, uh, waiting for the, uh, waiting for the time. <laughs> uh all right as you sort of open the door dusk invisible so it just looks mm -hmm. like the door got blown open by some wind uh you see that the people in here uh are two like very like well-dressed uh paid more money for their suits than you paid in rent for six months uh kind of folks um who are like standing at the like one of them is on one side of the desk and one of them is on the other and they have like a map of the city between them um I and Oh yeah, what would you like please, to No, please finish, please. Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, and like, one of them like looks over when the door opens and then like rolls their eyes and is like, we need to fix that, that fucking hinge has been opening all day and then goes back to what they're planning. Like they, they don't even give it a second thought. I want to go over uh, and get like next to the desk yeah. and have, <laughs> I want to have like one sword on each of them and then reappear hell yeah uh and as i do i just i look what are we looking at at them <laughs> <laughs> you do this and both of them go like ash white like like all of the blood leaves their face in a moment of fear um as you've got swords leveled at both of them uh and like uh one of them like goes to like push everything off of the table so you can't see it anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, as the other one like uh, goes to reach into their uh, suit jacket. Can I yeah. sword and table to put, put everything and then like side like round like like lift up and like kick the other one just like to the ground? Hell yeah, go ahead and uh, roll danger for me unless you've got something else. Uh, is this directly engaged a threat? It is, yeah. Would you okay? So I have a move, yeah, called Psychic Diamondin, uh, which is when you would you say I'm a, I wouldn't say so, but when I'm dramatically under fire, I can roll plus savior instead of danger. I think 
you're pretty dramatically involved in the situation. Okay. So definitely. <laughs> you feel it. Yeah. Ooh, it's good. I got that. Uh, that is a seven. All right. So you get to pick one from the list. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Not me closing the list when I meant to close <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, oh, let me see here. Okay. Directly engage a threat. I will take something from them. I, whatever, whatever thing they got on them in that suit jacket is going to like fly. Um, I wanted to like fly like dramatically to the window that Sleepwalker is waiting sleep. outside of. So it's yeah. like a like now. <laughs> now is the time. Yeah. yeah uh, Sleepwalker, you watch as this like, uh, like very like fancy looking, not very much not normal, kind of like glowing gun-shaped object like crashes into the window and like cracks it. Um, not quite enough to shatter, but like enough to crack the window that you're standing under. Um, and as uh, this is happening, uh, my other three folks, uh, you will have gotten to reach this like platform. How would you like to get up to up above? Front door or side is really what you've got. Front door. Classic for me. Yeah, yeah. The front door is open now because they didn't bother to close it. So, um, so you Sounds also good. also head up. So uh, you also enter the room. Um, and are you coming up into the window, Sleepwalker? Uh, yes. Uh, with it, I probably would have through the window and attempted to dive at the closest suit. Yeah. Um, you can go ahead and, as you do that, make me a directly engage a threat roll, which is danger unless you've got something to replace it with. You so I think we're going danger zone. Uh, be a seven. A seven. All right, you get to pick seven. one then uh, from the list, so you can resist or avoid their blows, take something from them, create an opportunity for your allies, or impress, surprise, or frighten. I'm going for frighten. I had a, this was part of the plan. All right. <laughs> Tell me what you do. It's gonna be weird, so bear with me, everyone. <laughs> After that that tackle and clutch, I want to try to grab the suit's head oh, and no. just say, "Welcome to my nightmare," and uh, do that plunge near the ground, just enough so you can see what looks like his grandfather appear on a couple sides and start pulling at his teeth. Ooh, ooh! Terrifying. Uh, so grab the therapy you know, comfort blanket. Going, yeah, <laughs> get, them, get them ready. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, so yeah. Just uh, I'm just trying to to shock the senses. Sh I'm going oh for yeah. Those classic nightmares. <laughs> Absolutely horrified. The the person that you've got like under you is terrified. Like scared to the point of not being able to move as all of you enter the room. And you've got these two uh, executives and their plans sort of laid out. The like, both of them are affr are frightened, but have not made a move to run or go anywhere yet. One of them can't. One of them's pinned. Uh, but neither of them have made a move to run yet. Not that they could, because you're surrounding them. But was that it? Huh? Did we win? Probably oh wait, not. I'm kind of sitting on this suit at this point. So <laughs> yeah, the 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 super villains with the suits on, <laughs> and like both of them sort of look at you and like look mildly offended that you've called them super villains. Um, and the one who's still standing, who is kind of like very subtly but not subtly enough, trying to like inch his way closer to the gun that the other one threw um is like <clears throat> we're not villains we're upholding what the city has always stood for hold on what's your medium income i mean well like what, what was your tax returns for this year <laughs> and i like take out my phone like we're gonna do some math here how much money do you make it's not about money it's about stocks Okay, never mind. I know it. Okay, uh, guys, there's no redeeming them. Uh, <laughs> do I call in the airstrike? 
Look, I'm really sorry, but, but these no are redeeming these are my arch nemesis okay the the richer you are the further from uh normal reality you are and so it's hard to empathize with the everyday person um so i'm gonna call an airstrike does anyone have any qualms on it or i mean i kind of wanted to beat them up oh no i don't want to take that from you no you you go girl is you that okay it. yeah okay, you handle cool. it Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, I round beat the, the heck out of you. I roundhouse kick the one that's like at the table still. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, everybody, go ahead and roll me their uh, danger or soup or, or savior to beat the shit out of these the two pummel dudes. Scene. <laughs> yeah. Just, oh, can I oh assist uh, Starburst? Hell yeah! What would you like to do? Uh, I am going to go to the. What size are you, uh, Starburst? Like feet wise? Are we, what are we talking about like? She's six foot. Six foot. This She's is the feet. 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 Oh, I'm like, like your size? shoes. Oh, my <laughs> shoe size. <laughs> Why are you asking me my shoe size, sir? I'm going to get you a cool pair of shoes from the future that will help you in this endeavor. Okay. Oh, I, okay. They're ten. Guys. Okay, They're cool. Tens. All right. All right. Let me just. Oh, God, what is that right. store? Is it Payless or okay? Hold on, just, uh, I'll pop into the future. Uh, is it like a beam? Like what happened? Is there like a door? You just uh, like disappear? <laughs> I, I I feel like I just like uh part reality with my hands, uh, and I'm just like poke my head in and just like, hey, can I get <laughs> yo Payless? What we got? Like twenty percent <laughs> off. <laughs> I need some size. What is it again? Like 10? Size 10, 11. I don't know how how tall ratio wise. Let's no, I'm like six cool. feet and my feet are 13. So. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. So yeah. 11s. Yeah. Okay. Let, let's do. All right. Like, let's do 11s. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as you're uh, uh, popping into too. the future, I'd like to remind our uh, chat that we're playing for the National Abortion Federation today. Um, and if you'd like to give our players some plus ones in this final tussle where they just beat up some rich people, you can donate $10 uh, to our Tiltify link and give any of my players a plus one uh, as we just, as I encourage them to beat up these rich people. <laughs> Heck yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no redeeming. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go for like the the 20% off buy one, get one uh, free pay less shoes. Um, we're talking about like, uh, you know, 30th century Nikes, uh, but these have the ability to allow you to kick harder and faster. Nice. Uh, and they can shoot lasers out of them. So, uh, so I'll, I'll get them. Let's get them. What's your favorite color? Yellow, dude. Yellow. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's get the yellow. Uh, black. Black for me. Maybe like some white pinstripes on the side. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. All right. We're we're good. And I uh, throw her the shoes. <laughs> I take my time taking off my nice Chuck Taylors and playing them to the side. And I'm just like dead staring these bad guys in the face as I'm tying the laces. And I'm like, all right, let's go. And then I kick them. All the right. <laughs> Take that I know what the one. song was for that scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's our, uh, what's our uh, background? Oh, uh, is it face off? Yes. I feel like that, yeah. Let's the, the just shoes, go ahead and say yes. The shoes are like every time you step, the face off song starts playing. <laughs> it just pauses in between. And I got an 11 for my. Nice. All right. So then you get to pick two of those uh, things. But also, mostly, I'm just going to let you beat these people up. So just tell oh, me man. exactly okay. what happened. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Um, backhand one, because fuck you. Um, I think that this is just a really petty fight. So it's a lot of like kicking in the shins and kneeing them in the groin and elbowing them in the nose and messing up all of those in a very embarrassing way. Cause this is a little, well, she's not little, but this is a little girl who, I mean, is from the streets, from the hood. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, and you take, you take oh, your yeah. gentrification and shove it up your fucking ass. Excuse <laughs> my French. I think uh, Katie like, kicks one and they like start to fall out the window and yeah. they're like screaming and I'm like, <sighs> and I like whip, <laughs> I like throw my sword out and they like changes into this like chain whip. Oh, and, like, nice. and, like, yeah. It like grabs their ankle and they're like, it hurts. And I'm like, I don't care. And I like, <laughs> I, I like anchor it. 
I like anchor to the side. Someone will come get you later. And they're like <laughs> dangling by their ankle, like just kind of like swinging back and forth. Oh, um, pinata! And, <laughs> and I go uh, to the one yeah. that was like by the desk that was like, and I I sit on the desk. So I think you have about ten minutes before Starburst realizes you're over here to tell me what's going on, and then you will most likely be taken to a hospital for a concussion. So why don't you tell me what's going on before the concussion happens? Or like, I can just ask Starburst to come over here now. Uh, and like you watch as like uh, both uh, both from Starburst and everyone hitting them a couple of times and like willingly turning it off. Like the like hologram that made their faces kind of look like a generic white man in the background of a video game uh, fade. <laughs> Uh, and they still look like generic white men, but now you can recognize them. Um, and one of them is the CEO of the like uh, bioengineering company in town that runs a lot of the pharmaceuticals. Um, mm. And the other one is one of the like top execs at a banking firm. Oh my God. Um, Does nasty. one of them look familiar as one of the creators of the zombie apocalypse in the future? Oh, oh yeah. What? Oh God. <laughs> I'm like, guys, that person needs to go. And I point like... <laughs> <laughs> we should investigate and destroy that person for reasons I cannot say. Um, but yeah, you can you can snap some pictures uh, for like proof or whatever before you uh, sit down to interrogate. And the one that's across from you is the like one like leading the banking firm, uh, mm -hmm. and like he values himself too much uh, to let himself be beaten to death in a, <laughs> a room, <laughs> and so he like sits down and is like. We were just going to make sure mm -hmm. that the court knew mm -hmm. to only speak on matters that are actually important to Halcyon City. Mm -hmm. So we were like, going to sit them down, mm -hmm. uh, like the beautification of our city's parks mm -hmm. uh, and maintaining our skyline. What's the blue stuff for? That is, uh, it was going to encourage them to uh, adhere to our worldview. I uh, just like I stab my sword next to their head. That's the wrong answer, buddy. What's the what's the blue oh, stuff? Oh, you missed, Sloane. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's a it, it it's a mm -hmm. design. Um, mm -hmm. they they made it at the lab. Uh, it 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 makes people very susceptible. You can essentially tell them what to do, and they agree. Good. So. For your reward, and I uh, slam their head in the desk, and, <laughs> and then push them out the other window and chain whip them as well. They're just both dangling. Heck yeah! All right, I'll properly identify them, and I put like an umbrella uh, logo uh, on like the chain, like <laughs> so people know what who they're dealing with. Uh, is someone from the future gonna come get them or? Uh, no, no, this is this is the present. Okay, I'm the only one other than maybe a couple others who were allowed to mess with the past can you get take them to the future I mean, like i mean i guess uh their kind is kind of extinct but yeah i guess i could throw them in there i just don't know what they do we don't know what to do with those type of people okay can you, you send what? them to like a planet in a different place oh no, no I, I got you all right all right uh yeah we'll send them to mars okay come on guys <laughs> Come on, let's go. Elon wait, Musk's Mar failed Mars colony. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wait, is Mars not cool in the future? No, it's not. It's horrible. Oh, like, I thought you were oh. sending them in the present. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> not, look, in the future, nothing is on Mars, all right? People have tried to uh, populate it, but it just doesn't It doesn't work. It's a lot of money for, for not much. So I'm just going to send them there. And I guess Mars will test them to see if they're worthy. It won't because there's no oxygen, right? And, and like heat and stuff. So they'll, they'll die, but I don't know. My, my conscience is clear. How about you guys? I'm good. Good? All I'm right. Gonna destroy this blue stuff. Come on, rich people. We're going to the farm. Could get you a Mars bar. And you know, I just kind of like. Future Wendy's dumpster. Yeah, just like yeah. <laughs> push them into a future into the portal. Wendy's dumpster on Mars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like. Yeah. Boom. There we go. There you go. Good, good job, guys. There's some milk duds in there, I think. You should call like one of the adult 
teams to deal with all this blue stuff thing. What do you mean? We are the adults. Look no. at Katie. No. Huge. No. 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 <laughs> no. no. Oh. Okay. Are you an adult? You just look like this? Cringe. I, <laughs> Wait. I mean, look at this goatee. I'm I'm pretty much an adult. Okay? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, Pepper, do they let kids travel the future where you're from? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you use a fake ID to get it? <laughs> it's, a, it's a fake goatee. Rip it off. It's a Rip fake, it off. <laughs> yeah. No, no, don't. I need it. It took me a long time to put it on. All right, it's, a, it's spirit glue. It doesn't come off easy. It hurts. <laughs> Look, let's not talk about my Pepper's powers. Pepper's been two teens in a trench coat this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> let's just focus on dealing with this blue stuff, okay? All right. <laughs> okay, what are we going to do again? We're, we're calling adults? We're going to call in the adults, or we can tear it down. Let's do both. Airstrike? Airstrike. You know what? Airstrike. Actually, probably... I get a sample first to give to whatever, yeah, maybe we, yeah. Like, yeah. Whatever, Airstrike, like, what if it, Justice Society is, yeah. it is. I guess it is for the future, and we could analyze it with stuff. I think I have an analyzer right next to the, uh, oh, God, what is the toasted strudel thing that toasts them? A, a toaster? Ah, uh, yeah, there you go, there you go, the, wait, the toaster. Wait, wait, I'm sorry, you have a chemical analyzer in your house, but you still use a toaster? <laughs> Oh. That's the one tech. That's the one technology that was perfect. The future couldn't figure out a new form. Exactly. For it. There is one way to perfectly toast a toasted strudel, and that's with a toaster. Okay, it huh. doesn't get better than that. It's it's oh perfect God. already. It's kind of it, amazing, actually. Yeah, it heats it up. It it tastes great. You put that sugary cream. Uh, I mean, that means humanity did at least one thing perfect. Yeah, the toaster was a good idea. All right, we could pat ourselves on the back for that. Good huh. job, humanity. Yeah. I, I didn't invent the toaster, but yeah, you're welcome. Uh, yeah. Starburst, yeah. you have done so much, and by the time your life is over, uh, you would have saved the world several times. Oh, cool. And you have decent nachos at your cafeteria, so it's great. I want to try these nachos. You can't, okay? Time paradox. Why? But telling I, us about it is fine. Nobody recognize me. And, and the shoes. The... Exactly. All that's fine. It's the eating of the nachos. As, as we're walking period. to your like future in this car that we're getting, in. this is all fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep uh, these. I hold the shoes up. Yeah, sure. Just don't. Just be 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 good with it. Of course, they got yeah. lasers in them. Yeah, be responsible. I know you will. That's great. But no airstrikes, because I saw Return of the Living Dead, and I don't think that's a good idea. We're gonna it's drop the this smoke off. Smoke in the hour, and it's gonna get everyone. I'm gonna drop this off at the Hall of Solitude, and then yeah. they'll deal with it. It'll officially be no longer be our problem. Oh, I love that. Yeah, let's do that. And, with and then, it, um, did you guys want to go to like? Uh, I was thinking we could take a trip to Japan. You know those like cool little like Japanese sleeping capsules. Yeah. I thought maybe we could rent some, and I don't know, maybe go to a cafe afterwards. What do you think, Sleepwalker? But a, a fourteen hour flight. No, I would. We we would go into the future and then go into the past and be there. So it's like a, so we can go into the future. If we yes, go into the future, I want to see the museum. You can't eat. You can't eat the nachos. Totally gonna eat the nachos. There's no specific rules. <laughs> It makes it all the more tempting. As as all of y'all sort of like <laughs> have this argument uh, in the car driving away towards the Hall of Solitude to make this the adult's problem, uh, we will uh, fade out to the to be continued sort of panel of the topic. <laughs> um, and I'll let my uh, cast give us your outros. Uh, you can't influence their roles anymore, but if you've got some money to spare and you've enjoyed the show we've given today, uh, please donate via the Tiltify link to the National Abortion Federation, who provides funds for abortions to for abortion clinics to uh, support patients with evidence-based care. Uh, so for ten dollars, you get an entry into our raffle with uh, over thirty donated prizes, and everyone who donates ever over five dollars gets a free PDF of a game from Underground Oracle Publishing. Um, so with that aside, uh, I don't remember what order I had you go in or I'd say backwards, um, but I have ADHD. Uh, so uh, <laughs> uh, let's start with Austin. 
me hey what's up everyone i'm austin my pronouns are he they she my uh you can find me on twitter at sales Austin's at sailor sct austin i'm a game performer designer uh writer and friend um Aww. that's really it hit find me on twitter to see all the stuff i'm up to and that i do throughout any given week day month or year uh brand uh, hi, I'm Bran, uh, he, him. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Voice of Bran. And when I am not gaming with amazing people, uh, I work at Spirit of the Wild's Candles, uh, all natural, clean, burning, and donate to animal charities. Uh, Spirit of the Wild, you can find that on Twitter and anywhere else where you would type that in. Awesome. Um, Mitch, do you want to go next? Yeah, that's, that's awesome. I need to poke you for candle stuff. They're D20s. Uh, oh I have God. I have ah. one of them. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I, I'm one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, Mitch Espichios. Uh, he's a uh, yeah, uh, game creator, designer, and uh, yeah, I got a Twitch show, and uh, I'll see people at Gen Con. So I'm just happy to be here. This was dope. Uh, Jazz, you want to go next? Hi. Yeah, hi, I'm Jazz, also known as Indoscoria on Twitter, which is usually where I hang out. Whoa. Oh, there goes Mitch. <laughs> they're, <laughs> gone. they're leaving. They're gone. There they go. Because Pepper back into the future. I, I must go now. My family needs me. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Sorry, Jazz. Um, wow. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. Um, you can find me on Twitter um, and also on Steel Zaddy's channel where he runs a homebrew 5e DD 5e adventure or a campaign. Um, that's on Tuesday nights. I'm also um on Girls Run These Worlds. We did a short adventure for Monster of the Week, and we are coming back in the fall sometime for a longer campaign and you can also find me on queen courts games uh that'll be happening soon when we're doing a cult divinity loss adventure i am in a lot of places i'm doing a lot of things i'm a little tired nice <laughs> get some rest in between those things and yeah. last but not least jim hey hi i'm jim i'm a he they pronoun user uh i am generally a lurker i used to do a whole bunch of stuff but now i work too much instead of doing things I enjoy. So I'm hoping I get to go back to it, including two new D&D 5e campaigns that are going to be run side by side as a actual play podcast, I believe. I just have to ask my players if they're ready for it. <laughs> Other than that, I just lurk around and do random donations to charity events like this one. Huh? And I'm on I Sorry. Yes. Oh, no, that was it. Where, where can we find you on Twitter? What is your handle, Jim? Oh, uh, Jim the Dim with underscores instead of spaces. Wonderful. Uh, and I have been your MC this, I almost said evening, so we're going good. Uh, <laughs> I've been this your GM this afternoon. Uh, my name is Rue. I use they or he pronouns. You can find me on Twitter as at Ilana Knight 13. That's I L A N A N I G H T 13. Or anywhere else as just Ilana Knight because I made a Twitter at the age of 12, forgot the password, and Twitter will not give it back to me. <laughs> so it's there, it's just not mine. Um, I am a uh, game designer and a sensitivity reader and a tabletop content creator. Uh, I'm presently nominated for the best fan award for publisher, any. Uh, so uh, if you haven't voted yet and don't know who to vote for, I'd really appreciate your vote. Um, but also there's a lot of wonderful products and people on there that definitely deserve your vote um, for the Annies as well. Other than that, uh, you can keep up with me on Twitter. I am in uh, a handful of tabletop campaigns that I can't remember the dates of right now. Um, so I will see all of y'all around. Uh, and uh, thank you so much to Jess for hosting this and organizing this whole event. Uh, and raising this money for a super important cause. So if you have any, the means to give, uh, the Tiltify link is still open and you can still give money. I believe we have one more game. Am I correct about that? Jess, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so we have one more game today. So your donations can affect that game. And also uh, they go to a super important cause because abortion rights are human rights. Thank you for joining us for our masks game today. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.